Welcome back to JDA Place in White Court as the Kodiaks look to pick up a split in the first two games of this best of seven series against the number one ranked Wolverines. I'm Tim Ellis. We are in the Hometime Realty Broadcast Center. Well, welcome back to JDA Place as indeed we do get set for period number one. The pregame show brought to you by Fortis Alberta. Continue to count on us to provide safe, reliable electricity for generations to come. We're the line that connects us all. The Kodiaks will go from right to left in this opening period. Elliot Pratt will get the start. Kodiaks will be in their home, uh, make that road white uniforms uh, trimmed in red and black. The White Court Wolverines in their home black uniforms uh, trimmed in red and white will go from left to right and they will make a change in net. Nick Avakian will get the start in net. The referees for tonight's hockey game, Sanji Bagrath, Alex Estabrooks, the linesman Christian Brown and Chris Gordeco, and we're underway. He'll take it off the side boards. Here's Avery Trotter walks in. He'll shovel it in around behind the net. Lazinski trying to get to it. And now Lazinski in front. There's a shot by Carter. Scores! Levi Carter gets the Kodiaks on the board early. And the Kodiaks have the all-important first one. They lead this one to nothing. And if you pick Levi Carter to score first tonight, you have a chance to win free bowling from Tab Lanes and Lounge. And Trotter and Lazinski, I believe, will get the assists on the goal. And Carter, the shot, beats Avakian. And the Kodiaks, a much, much better start tonight. Now Matthews drops it back. Carter, pass across. There's a shot. And what did that hit? Oh, my. I think that was Barrett on this near side. He had the old open side. I'm not sure if he hit the post or what happened. But now what a chance that was. Now a shot right on and a save by Elliott Pratt. Now he's spun around and now has the puck behind the net. Centered it and trying to get a shot away. Oh, they say it didn't go in. Ends up into the boards and he's in some discomfort. Gets up slowly and he's going to get to the Kodiak's bench slowly. Now walking in, Keeble's shot scores. And the Wolverines tie it. And the Kodiaks without a player down here as Ty Hodge went hard into the end boards. And had trouble getting back up. And meantime, the Wolverines got the puck down the ice and got the goal. Do remember those thoughts came before game one last night. Matthews a shot blocked, got it back again. Another shot, score! Carter Matthews with the goal. The first attempt was blocked, but Matthews got the second one in. High over Avakian's glove. And the Kodiaks have regained the lead 2-1 to one here now with 4.39 remaining in this second period. Now played across here to Keeble. Keeble walks in, pass in front. And they score. Verbeek with a power play goal. And we are tied at two. And you can just see that happening. Kodiak's had a chance to clear. Got it to the blue line and could not get it out. And it gave the... Wolverines a second chance opportunity and they made the best of it and they have tied this hockey game at two and unfortunate off the draw they score off the draw the puck dribbled through Pratt and into the back of the net. I don't know who scored it, but the Wolverines get it. And they win this in overtime by a score of 3-2. to two. I have no idea why the timeout was not called. It wasn't. And the Wolverines capitalize on the faceoff, but I guess that's a question for another day. 
The postgame show is next from the Hometime Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country 98.1 FM and Flow Hockey.